Hi, this is Shubham from Money Studio, and today in this podcast, we gonna discuss about inverse ETF in details. What are these inverse ETF? The meaning, advantages, disadvantages, types of inverse ETF, and bottom line. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, then the link of article provided is in description. So let discuss what is an inverse ETF. An inverse ETF is an exchange traded fund constructed by using a various derivatives to profit from a decline in the value of an underlying benchmark investing in inverse etf is similar to holding a various short position which involve borrowing securities and selling them with a hope of repurchasing them at a lower price an inverse etf also known as a short etf or a bear etf so what is this inverse etf is different from a short selling an advantage of an inverse etf is that they do not require the investor to hold a margin account as would be the case for investor looking to enter into a short positions a margin account is one where a broker lend money to an investor to trade margin is used with shorting and advanced trading activity investor who enter into a short position borrow the security they don't own them so that they can sell them to the other traders the goal is to buy the asset back at a lower price and unwind the trade by returning the shares to the margin lender however there is a risk that the value of a security rise instead of falling and the investor has to buy back a security at higher price than the original margin sale price in addition to a margin account short selling requires a stock loan free paid to a broker for borrowing the shares necessary to sell shorts stock with high short interest may result in a difficulty finding shares to be short which drive up the cost of a short selling in many cases the cost of borrowing shares to short can exceed 3% of a borrowed amount you can see why inexperienced trader can quickly get in over their head conversely inverse etf often have expense ratio of less than 2% and can be a purchase by anyone with a brokerage amount despite the expense ratio it is still easier and less costly to investor to take position in inverse etf than it is in to sell stock individually for short position if we now talk about a realistic world this inverse etf are only available in a developed markets like us for developing markets like india we don't have a concept of a inverse etf inverse etf is a very new concept for an indian investors so if you want to take a short position in india we have to go for an individual stocks let discuss the advantages inverse etf allow investor to make a money when the market or the underlying index is declining the second advantage for inverse etf is that it can help investor hedge their investment portfolio the third advantage is there are multiple inverse etf for the major markets indices where we can track and trade individual specific indices as well let discuss what are the disadvantages the first disadvantage for inverse ETF can lead to a loss quickly if investor bet went wrong on the market direction because we are betting directly on the market. The second disadvantage is inverse ETF held for more than a one day can lead to a losses for gap up or gap down or any drastic news. The third disadvantage is higher fees exist with inverse ETF versus a traditional ETF. As we can see that these are basically a shorting and index which require margins. Let us discuss what are the different types of a inverse ETF. There are several inverse ETF that can be used to profit from a decline broad market such as a Russell 2000 or Nasdaq 100. Also there are inverse ETF that focus on specific sectors such as financial, energy or consumer staples. Here we are going to discuss about US markets because in US market we have different types of inverse ETFs available. Some investors can use ETFs to profit from a market decline while others use them to hedge their position against falling up price. For example, investor who own an ETF that matches the S&P 500 can hedge decline the S&P by owning an inverse ETF for the S&P. However, hedging has a risk as well. If S&P rise, investor would have to sell their inverse ETF since they will be experiencing a losses offsetting any gains in their original S&P investment. Inverse ETF are short term trading instrument that must be timed perfectly for the investor to make money. There is a significant risk of losses if investor 
user allocate too much money to inverse ETF and time their entries and exit properly. Now let's discuss what is a double and triple inverse ETF. A leverage ETF is a fund that uses derivative and debt to magnify the returns of an underlying asset. Typically an ETF price rise or fall on one to basis compared to the compared index it tracks. A leverage ETF is designed to boost the returns to 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1 compared to the normal index. Leverage ETX it use the same concept as a leverage product and aim to deliver a magnified returns with the market is falling. For example, if the S&P has a decline by 2%, a 2x leverage inverse ETF will decline approx 4% return to the investor excluding fees and commissions. So these are high highly complex products. Let's discuss what is a bottom line over here. Inverse ETF is one of the important and highly developed product available in a developed market through which an investor can bet against the market when he expects a market to fall. In addition to inverse ETF, there are highly leveraged ETFs also which provide double and triple returns as double and triple inverse ETF. But it is subject to a risk appetite of an individual investor. If you want to read the full article about this then a link of an article provided is in the description. Thank you for joining with us here Shubham from Monistu signing off.